Hello again. Today we are going to be talking about the modeling cycle. So let's get started. Uh, why do we use models? Well, they're simply formulas that allow us to represent a real world situation as closely as possible. And so they focus on general patterns that we observe and they tend to ignore the small details. And so what we do is we use these models to estimate data points that we don't already have make predictions about data points that go beyond the given data set and find solutions to problems that might allow us to change our model. So here's the cycle. First, we pose a real world problem and we make assumptions in order to simplify the problem. We develop a model that represents the problem or we do our best to do that and we consider any restrictions that might be there. And so we test the model by comparing the predictions with the data that we know. And if it doesn't match, then we reject that model and we develop a new model, again, considering all the restrictions. If we accept the model, then we can apply it to the problem and we can interpret the solution to our problem in context. And then if we do a good job at uh, doing that, applying the model and interpreting the solution, we might actually want to extend our model to apply to similar real world situations, which means we need to go back and not necessarily develop a new model, but play around with the parameters in our model to make it even better. So that's the cycle um, that we use to model real world situations. So for example, if a ball is dropped from a building that is 300 feet tall, the height of the ball is modeled using this equation, h equals negative 16 t squared plus 300, and it's graphed over here on the right. So we make some assumptions that there is nothing significant like wind or air resistance or other obstacles that's affecting the height of the ball. Um, but this model is found to be not accurate because the ball actually stops falling after 4.3 seconds. So we may need to make adjustments um, as to the values of T that we can use, the values of H that can be used um, in order to make this model more accurate. So that's just an example of taking a real world situation and finding out any inaccuracy. So we would have to reject this and maybe make a better model. So that's just a quick um, identification of the steps of uh, creating a model. If you have any questions about that, please let me know and I will see you tomorrow.